Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Mother. Last time, we got a tank! Hell yeah, but we can only use the tank in the desert, unfortunately. So that does kind of suck just a tad bit, but if you want to get off the tank, you could just land it right there and we can explore. Oh, a sightseeing flight, the Advent Desert. You don't say. So yeah, uh, but what I want to do, and you have to do to move on with this point, uh, is get in the tank, look around, go exploring, roll over and bulldoze anything and everything in your path. It's amazing. Although, you're not going to get into any encounters right now whenever you have the tank, so, you know, kind of unusual. They give you this super great tank, then you really can't do much with it. Oh well. As you recall, as we were flying across the desert last time, um, there were some kind of ruins, and we're gonna go looking for those ruins right now, and they should be, yeah, right there. Perfect. This is the only way to move on with life, to move on with the story, otherwise you could just park the tank and, uh, continue along walking, but screw that. Whoa! Whoa, this guy's huge! Let's check it out and just have the rest of the guys fight. Yeah, because you're in a tank, it's going to reflect back all the attacks, and this guy's essentially invincible. Strong against all of the elements, and he has 600 defense and 300 offense. It's insane. But we're just going to be firing my laser and killing this guy. Just go into auto. Takes three rounds, he'll reflect the attack back, and he'll kill himself. But, unfortunately, the tank also gets scrapped as well. At this point, let's use some bread. Bread is so nice to have. I love it. I wish that they did something like bread in um, Earthbound, but unfortunately, I really don't think that there is. Now, remember that guy who was giving us the plane rides? He said that he planted some landmines in this desert, but there was one that he couldn't find? Well, that's right. Here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they died. Oh, no, we get a certificate. That I stepped on the landmine in the Advent Desert. Yeah. Oh, okay, I will. And it's actually signed by the creator of the game, and I know that if I even attempt to pronounce that, I'm going to totally royally butcher it. So, yeah, sorry. I'll, gi I'll give it a shot. Shigesato Itoi? I have no idea. I'm really bad at it. I'm so bad. Anyway, there's one other thing that we can do around here north of the desert. Yeah, this is why, like I, like I said, I don't... Oh, here! We have a red snake. Um, we'll check this guy out and then just attack it. Oh, good! Yeah, don't let it get away because it's a good source of experience points. It is essentially the metal slime of the game, but it always tries to run, so, yeah. Anyway, like I said before, I don't I don't watch anime or play games in Japanese or anything like that. I'm distinctly American, so I'm just have a hard time pronouncing Japanese things. But anyway, this is what I wanted to show off right here, this forest. You really can't tell here in-game on the screen, but take my word for it, it's actually shaped like the infinity sign. Like, these maps are so big that the game developers just had fun with it, and they made a little infinity sign in the forest right here, so... So it's just a pretty cool little Easter egg there. Anyway, that's all that I really wanted to show off, so let's go ahead and use our breadcrumbs. And we are back to these ruins. Oh! Hey, there's, like, monkeys and stuff. Oh! But the monkeys like to lie, and he's not joking. All these monkeys do is lie constantly. They're really obnoxious. But anyway, let's just talk to them all. It's not too dark. I mean, the background is black. It's But, like, the walls are yellow and stuff. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's actually kind of nice. Hey there. Oh. <laughs> yes, 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 I agree. You know, we'll, we'll keep your daintiness in check. Oh, but actually, she's a man. Okay, sure, whatever. It's just so ridiculous. No. And then she just laughs. Tee -hee -hee. Like. <laughs> oh, good God. Oh, yeah, sure. 
treasure your friends. Oh, okay. No! Ah! Whoa! I do have intellectual curiosity, wow! Maybe that monkey at the beginning shouldn't have said they're all liars, he should have said they're all bitches. Like, what the hell? Oh, meet a new friend in a city with an ocean view. Really? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, okay, yeah. Because if you go down here, it's a dead end. So you have to go straight this way. I don't always go straight in real life, but in this case, I'll go straight. Hey, we got a PSI stone. You should still have two ticket stubs left over from that airplane person. Just drop them, throw them away, just get rid of them, because we inventory spaces at a premium, especially when we come here, to get tons of PSI stones. It's actually quite a bit of nice stuff in here, but it's all PSI stones, and, you know, might as well get them. Oh, also, this place is completely optional. You don't have to come in here if you don't want to, but why not? <laughs> okay. Yeah, again, I, I really don't feel like they're lying. They're just kind of, I don't know, weird. Oh. Ooh, what did you give me? Oh, a speed capsule. Great, yeah. Awesome. Can never have too much speed on my best attacker and healer. Continuing right along. This is the last PSI stone that we have. Awesome. And with that, we're pretty much through with this place. And then you'll get to see the main reason of this whole monkey cake. Get over here! Turn right and then left to find something nice. Um, okay, I guess this is right and then left, and all you find is a dead end. Oh, hey there, little monkey dude. Go right, left, left, then right. Um, right? Left? What? He's just sending me literally on a wild goose chase. <laughs> Are you referring to me or to Anna? What is going on here? Is this a penguin? <laughs> There's a penguin in the monkey cave. Like, what the hell? Oh, go straight ahead and then you find the- Oh my god, I can't keep it all track. Um, sure. You're a Tanuki. Oh, like uh, the Tanuki suit Mario in Mario 3, right? Oh, a raccoon dog in disguise. Well, that's more like Dragon Warrior 4, really. Oh, um, yeah, that's a fake melody, a liar's melody. Um, I'm almost afraid that he's gonna turn off my game if I say yes. Let me just make a save state here just in case. Oh, good, he didn't. I wouldn't put it past this game to be like, okay, bye, and like reset it. Um, okay. Any way. <laughs> Get out of this monkey cave. At least it's not as bad as the monkey cave in, um, in Earthbound. That one's just damned annoying. Man, having to trade all those items and over and over and over again. You know what I mean? Why not? I, I want to go this way. What are you talking about? Definitely go this way. What in the world? Oh. This is like the stone to Magicant. And we're back at Magicant. But something new has changed. And I'm going to make my way out of Magicant, and then I'll show you what's changed. Okay, I made it out of Magicant, and uh, nothing looks too dissimilar from before, except for this cave. It's a little bit different, but look! I came out of a different cave, a new area, all the way over here, on the other side, the southeastern portion of um, the Advent Desert. Originally, I was coming out towards over like south of Thanksgiving, but now every time that you go to Magicant, you don't have to kind of, you know, you're not going to start over there. You're going to start over here, which is on the other side of the map near Eastern Valentine, where the rest of the game is going to be taking place. So it's just a little secret shortcut for, um, really game, Jane. Okay. Uh, it's just like a little s shortcut for, you know, traveling around if you use the Yonk's hook and all that kind of stuff. Oh, good thing I'm not really going to be using my PSI powers or anything. Don't be fooled by her smile. Um, we'll try... let's see... 
Um, maybe... We'll go with Beam. Yeah, Beam Beta. That'll work. Whoa! She can freeze you! Yikes! Yeah, that's the freeze that automatically puts you into critical condition. That sucks. Ooh! Better learn some more PSI. Not that I really use a whole lot of PSI or anything, but it's there. Something that I noticed. Um, if you use auto battle in this game, which I do quite a bit, you can actually... Um, oh, there it is. You can actually use PSI powers during auto battle. This little formation, this little tree formation right here, is actually a peace sign. Again, it's really hard to tell here on the map, but if you look, you can kind of see... Oh, some arachnids! No, you can kind of see that it is a, um, a peace sign there, so... Just again, the developers having some fun with the enormous world map. Yeah, use that super spray, finally, and just automatically kill the, um... The bugs there. Okay, let's continue following these train tracks. So we should be close to Easter, where Anna's mother was, right? Isn't that what she said? Like, whenever we got her, she was like, Hey, I need to find my mom. She's over on Easter somewhere. Hey there, kid. Oh. Oh, I'm not trying to bother you. Bloodily persistent! Wow, I don't want to make you cry either, man. Weirdo. Why don't you go out there and fix the train tracks instead of whining about it? Those jeans are freaking annoying with their freeze spell. Oh, hey, we've made it now into the town of Easter. <laughs> yeah, you really can't talk, can you? Oh, and by the way, this song, just like the desert song is familiar, listen, you'll hear it. There it is. Paula's theme. Yeah, we get Paula's theme here in Easter. Super cute. I like it. Wow. Get some milk! There must be some cows around here or something that you can go milk, you know? Come on now. Quit whining. No one's here at this church. Huh. I guess all the adults are gone. The Garrickson's baby's weird, like, really weird. Oh, that's lovely. You don't know Jack! Yeah, kind of odd little sign there. Jack-off sign or something. Oh, thanks! Yeah, here we get a free hotel um, that will come in very handy. Extraordinarily handy. Oh, cool. What a cool dude running the shop. And unfortunately, this guy does understand money. And, uh, yeah. He sells a deluxe frying pan, and that's Anna's weapon of choice, or frying pans. But the boomerang, again, is much better than the frying pan. However, the toy air gun for Lloyd is better than the boomerang. So go ahead and pick that up, and I'm going to buy some breads, because bread is just really nice to have. I just want extra bread, because it's just amazing. So the toy air gun, go ahead and give that over to Lloyd. And let's look at Lloyd's stats. He has 91 offense. Okay. Give him the toy air gun, and his offense is now 101, so it increased his offensive stat by 10 points. And... David's offense is only 113, so Lloyd's actually really getting up there with his damage capabilities, so that's pretty nice. Let's continue to explore this town. We heard about some baby that's really odd. Maybe we can find this baby. Oh, these kids just want milk. Whiny-ass kids. A big flying ship took all the grown-ups away. That's weird, like a UFO? And they're all taken captive over on the mountains, which are past the town of Valentine. Huh, so I guess Valentine is our next place to go to to rescue, you know, Anna's mother, as well as all the rest of these, uh, adults here. I wonder why they didn't take the kids. They just took the grown-ups. That's weird. Except for these two grown-ups. Oh, unless these are just kids. Your name is Tom Garrickson. And introducing yourself as your hobby. <laughs> so this must be the Garrickson baby. He's just cooing over here. Um, and you're not, sub you're not really told to do this, 
But if you use telepathy on the baby because it's just weird, you can talk to the baby's consciousness. Oh. Really, the ability to teleport. Great. Woohoo! So with that, we get the magic of teleportation. And we can go to all these different towns that we've been to, including our home. The only place that we can't get to yet is Valentine because we haven't you know, visit it there yet. But, um, let's see. Anna also learns teleport, so it's unlike Earthbound, where Paula didn't learn teleport, but Pooh did. Here, both of our PSI users have access to the teleport spell, so that's very nice. Let's use telepathy on it again. Yeah. It's not something to be toyed with. Unlike in Earthbound, where, uh, you really can't... God, I can't get out of this frickin' house! Where they gave it to monkeys, and then the monkeys taught you how to do it, you know? You know, we just went through that monkey cave, and I was thinking to myself, don't these guys, like, aren't they gonna teach you to teleport or something? But, no, you get it here in this game instead. Um, as far as teleportation is concerned, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's say if I want to teleport home. Yeah, you kind of have to just keep on running! And you really do need a large straightaway to use it. Let's try it one more time. Ah! Yeah, but these hitboxes are kind of bad, so it is kind of obnoxious to use. But it is nice to have. Another nice thing about teleport is that you can use it to avoid monster encounters. If you want to, whenever you're in a monster area, like right here, because the music changed, um... You can teleport around, and whenever you're in the process of teleporting, you won't get into any encounters. So some people can use that to skip, you know, harder encounters. I'm not going to be doing that, but that is something that you can do. To the east is the swamp. So I'm suspicious. Uh-oh. I don't think that you're going to beat me up. Yeah, sorry about that. But what I'm going to do, um, the swamp is really hard. The rest of the game is really hard. So I'm going to take a little bit of time, maybe 10, 15 minutes, do some grinding here in the swamp, and uh, take advantage of the free healing that I have here as well. So, next time on Let's Play Mother, we're going to continue on through the swamp and reach the town of Valentine. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.